32-13 uh, at home. So home advantage seems to make a difference in this game. Um, and uh, these guys will actually face each other again in two weeks' time on the 12th of November. Obviously in Bristol, it's their homecoming game, so that'll be Bristol's first home game. And uh, as always, guys, I don't know if, you, if you're new to the, to the streams, just let us know if you're watching, who, you, who you're backing, where you're watching from. Also, if you've got any questions, I'll try to explain the game as best as I can uh, as, we're, you know, as it goes on. Um, so if I, but, and I'll try to use as natural language as possible. But if I lose anyone, if there's something that gets said or something happens and you don't quite follow the game, just, uh, just ask. Just drop a message in the chat. Here we go to kick off. So it's number 19, uh, Zach Fowler. Oh no, it's not, it's number 15. I remember number 15 from last year. So uh, let me just get his name, James Cunningham, that's him. Uh, hell of a boot on him. And uh, he kicks the ball out of the end zone. So the uh, Cuda will take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Interesting to see who the quarterback is for Lakuda. I can't quite get a number. I think it's number four. Let's have a look. Anyway, so they're first and ten. All snapped. Passed out to the right flat. Uh, dodges the first tackler, but um, takes a couple of guys to bring him down. He got a little bit of help from the uh, from, from an O lineman there. It looks good for about a yard. So we're second and second and nine from the 21-yard uh, line. So I've only got two Q... Oh, no, I do... There is the number four, sorry. So this is Danny Hudson. Danny Hudson's the starting QB. So hands off in the backfield. Met at the line of scrimmage. Uh, the 4D lineman uh, pushed the line back quite far there, and linebackers were able to meet it pretty much at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a, a, a slight gain there. Really stingy defence here from the, uh, from the front, I think it's a front seven, uh, for, the, um, for the Stags. Great start for them. So this is third down, make or break down. So if they don't get uh, first down yardage here, so move the ball about eight yards, they'll have to punt. So let's see what they can do. It looks like this is going to be a passing play. Oh, and they've done very well there. I don't know if it was a hard count. Certainly the QB would have changed his cadence there in some way because he drew off about, he drew three um, Stags defenders offside. Uh, so what that means is the ball will now move five yards. We'll just catch uh, the, the, the ref doing the official announcement. There we go, offside on the, on the Stags. Third down. And the uh, ball has moved five yards forward. So still third down, three yards, four yards, let's say four. A generous three, I don't know, depends how you look at it. <laughs> uh, uh, Hudson, quarterback Hudson uh, was uh, under 19 with uh, the North Ants Knights. So takes the ball, fakes the handoff, bails out and it's blocked. Sorry, I didn't follow that quite well on my camera then. Uh, I need to look at my viewfinder rather than the actual field. Well, uh, the QB bailed out to his left, which is a bit strange considering he's right-handed. Hudson bowled out to his left, found his target man through the ball, but it was beautifully blocked by one of the, uh, the Stags defenders. And sorry, I, I didn't catch his number. And I'm duly informed that it's number 56, Seb Rice. So fantastic play there from Seb. And that does bring up fourth down. Uh, and uh, the Barracuda in pump formation. Ball snapped. Nicely caught. Almost blocked. And it looked like it was going to be fielded by number 26 uh, for the Stags. But, uh, but he decided last minute to, to step away. So that's Joel McGibbon. 
looks like he'll be the return man for the day. Joel actually stays on the field. And uh, on comes the Stags offence. I suppose and the Cuda defence, but I like focusing on offences. Any word on... I'm not going to read the name out, James. That QB for... Uh, let me see. I don't have that name on my roster list. Sorry, that was a comment I was ref um, responding to. Right, so man in motion. QB drops back. Ball five right, right downfield. And beautifully caught. And run all the way in. Oh, no, it looks like he stepped out of bounds there. That was... Uh, that was that man again, number 26, uh, Joel McGibbon. So uh, featured in two plays back to back, one special teams, one offense. Darren Thomas there uh, in the chat on YouTube saying, uh, let's go Cuda. Oh, sorry, let me, uh, I don't think the scoreboard was on screen. It's now on screen. So that brings up first and 10. The ball is just inside the 20 yard line. So they're just inside the red zone. And uh, ball were handed off on an end around to number 29, I believe. What a big lad. Uh, tackle. He looks like he was good for first down yardage, but he just, maybe just shy. I may have got that number wrong when I said 29. 26. Oh, <laughs> it's Joel McGibbon. This is the Joel McGibbon show. He's doing it. He's having a, he's having a hell of a game already. Like, let's, let's hope they let him punch it in. So nothing worse than driving the ball downfield and then someone else takes your TD. <laughs> so ball is snapped here. Taken up the middle by number 24, Malcolm Easton. It looks like he's good for first down yardage and we're within, uh, within the 10 yard line. So it's first and goal now from the, oh, it's really hard to tell from here. I'd say about the six yard line. I'm trying to see where the ref's standing. Yeah, it's like actually five yard line. Uh, and QB is Captain um, William Jameson. Sorry, I should have said that sooner. I didn't, but I made up for it, hopefully. Luckily, we've got this massive pole in the way here, but we'll try and catch the action. <laughs> so, Paul taken by the QB, and he's on a sneak. Oh, and he takes it round wide. But there is a flag. Uh, interesting to see what this one's about. It might, it might be a hold, considering the, the, the amount of movement there. Let's just see what the... Um, Referee uh, Ollie Naskell's got to say. Go on, Ollie. Holding the classic. So that that's a 10-yard penalty. So that takes the ball back 10 yards uh, from, from where they started. From, from the spot, yeah, from where, where, where the ball um, finished on that play. So they're roughly... But uh, first down again and 11 to go. So uh, QB Jameson here ready. Got a, quite an odd formation. Sorry, let me just get it on screen. But they had three players offset to the left. Ball thrown up in the air, deep into the end zone. Target man number 15, James Cunningham. We'll be calling his name a lot today. Um, just doesn't quite get to it at the back of the end zone. Hands out, but not quite there. Uh, some support here from Ethan for number 17. Jack supporting the Stags. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, and also just a quick shout out. Well done to GB Benz yesterday. Getting fifth in Europe with a 30 to 22 nil over Denmark. It was glorious. Uh, ball here. Snapped straight to uh, um, QB Jameson. And he takes it wide. Probably for a few yard gain. So I understand a lot of the GB squad, uh, because of flight times back to the UK, aren't on UK soil yet, but will be later today. So just shout out to you guys. Fantastic. Uh, if you're watching, it was, it was awesome. I was uh, screaming at my telly yesterday. Um, you guys are my heroes. <laughs> Is he here supporting Roman? 
Tristy saying 79's a beast. Uh, and Jameson here takes the hand off again. Oh, th th and there was just a lot of great pressure there uh, from the Cuda right hand D-line, but they don't actually make the tackle. Uh, and the ball carrier takes it probably another three, four yards from point of contact. That could have been a great tackle for loss. They, they, they flooded that side really well, um, but just weren't able to execute on the tackling. Let's just put, let's chalk that up to, you know, early season um, nerves or just out of practice. Uh, so now we're fourth down, fourth and goal. So um, the, the team is setting up in a uh, field goal formation. So this is where uh, the, the team have an option to kick the ball through the uprights for three points. So this would be a, a scoring opening drive for the Stags. Should this go through, it looks good. Let's just get the signal from, yep, yeah, there we go. Ollie will uh, mimic that. And now we go to a kickoff. So, uh, breaking the deadlock. <laughs> Longest red zone ever. It was a long red zone. <laughs> right, so uh, the home side, Stags go 3-0 up in, in, in quarter one. So we've had one drive from each team. Uh, one th the, the, the Cuda went three and out and the Stags drove up the field nicely. They milked it in the red zone, as someone has said. <laughs> but uh, they, got, they got points on the board, which is really important. So uh, really successful first drive for them. Oh, and I didn't get the kicker's name. Is it Cunningham? And it's Joff Wolfrey, uh, 99, who was the kicker. So one of the captains. Um, I'm, very fortunate, I'm very fortunate to have um, the illustrious Fergus Keogh next to me, uh, who's anyone who knows the Stags know, knows he's a uh, stalwart for their organisation. And he's correcting me, keeping me honest. <laughs> I'm very grateful for it. <laughs> Okay, so James Cunningham here, uh, not ready to kick off. Let me just zoom in slightly, there we go. Lovely kick, and I think he's, he's actually kicked it out of bounds, which, yeah, does draw a flag penalty um, as an illegal procedure. They'll, they'll get an opportunity to, uh, the, the, the Cuda will decide here. They'll probably take the ball first and 10 from the 35 yard line, but they can make them re-kick it. Let's just see what, Thirty. Ah. Thank you. So it is at the thirty, not the thirty-five, because the field is not one hundred yards. Again, my thanks to Fergus. All right, a lot, of, a lot of comments coming in for the Barracuda now. Uh, um, I can imagine, obviously, because they're the they're the away team. Here we go, first down, uh, ball taken up the middle really nicely there from, uh, let's see the, the, the guy's number, I think it's 32. So 32 for the, uh, for the Barracuda. Sorry, the numbers are all over the place. Why can't I find it? Yeah, Archie, Archie Calheen. This is his first start um, and apparently <laughs> Archie's going to be taking part in Bristol Fight Night, which I don't know, I don't have any context other than Bristol Fight Night, but I assume it's some sort of charity boxing thing. So he's, like every other running back, he's a tough guy. Uh, so second and four here. Oh, bit of a miscommunication there. Um, and QB uh, takes off, gets the yards and scrambles out of bounds. So again, um, there's, no, there's been no change at QB, so it's still, we're still Danny Hudson. He's quite a mobile QB. This is his third year, um, and he's, he scored a 50-yard receiving touchdown here last year and was awarded the offensive MVP. So uh, we'll see if he can repeat that. Um, there was a hold there. Sorry, I, I'm reading out stats and not following the game, but a uh, flag on the play. That, so that play goes back, um, and it's now second down and about 14 so they lost they lost 10 yards and obviously the yards that they gained hey how you doing man you're right good to see you sorry i shouldn't i, wouldn't, I didn't go on mute then but i just saw woody 
who's the uh, he's the head coach of the uh, Portsmouth Dreadnoughts. Right, ball snapped. QB looking up. Definitely a pass play. Almost brought in there by number 40, uh, who was the target man going across the middle. Oh, man, I'm definitely not reading these numbers wrong. Maybe it was 80. 80 would be Fran Cano Sanchez, who's played in Spain. I don't know if it was him or not. Anyway, uh, Danny Hudson, QB still in. A lot of... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to... Sorry, I'm trying to catch up with all these... Uh, Comments, tons of comments coming through. I'll just flash them up on screen as we, as we see QB Hudson take the ball again, uh, third and long. Obviously, a pass play trips to the to the, to his left. Looks up straight away, drops the ball. It's a fumble. Ball's on the deck. It looks like, it looks like uh, it's that they've retained possession. And yeah, it looks like, and, and they're going to punt. Two fantastic defensive series here from the Stags, just stifling everything that the. Uh, Barracuda do apart from the plays that they uh, get flagged on, <laughs> which is uh, pretty good going. So, um, uh, the, yeah, Barracuda need to sort of tidy up on their discipline because um, it, it, it's hit them hard a couple on on, a, on these two uh, last series they've had. And ball is snapped quite high, number five catching it. Not a great punt, um, but it does go. Back to uh, uh, John McGibbon, who decides not to... Um... Oh, there's a flag. <laughs> I don't know what the flag's for. We'll see. We just It's it come from the backfield. It may be, a, may be a hit on the kicker. I'm not sure. Maybe contact with the kicker rather than um, a hit. Let's just, uh, we'll just wait and see what the referees are going to do. Bit of love here for Archie. Sleeping on Cuda. Apparently Archie's Jack. Look at these comments. I love it. Please keep these comments coming in. I'll do my best to uh, pay more attention to them. Bit of love for the stags there. Cool. Jeff's helping out. So it's a decline penalty. It, it was... Uh, it was on the stags, but it was declined. Anyway, right, so Stags take over, first and 10, balls on the 34-yard line. Apparently Archie's, uh, Zathos's goat. Right, let's see, let's see what um, uh, Jameson can do here. Uh, successful scoring drive last time, let's see what they can do with, with uh, Series 2. So they start off with that same play again, that, that, that end around. Um... Not so successful this time. This was a play uh, that, that picked up huge yards. I think it was the second play of the previous series. Uh, ball going to Joel McGibbon. I think I, I'm going to call it early. I'm giving Joel McGibbon MVP, I think. <laughs> He's having a hell of a game. <laughs> it's obviously a joke, right? Please don't uh, jump on me. Good luck to Danny at QB from the North Hands. No, it's lovely to see. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. Danny will love it as well. Okay, so Jamieson here back in uh, in the pistol again. Looks to his right, throws. Um, not not the best throw, but um, receiver got a hand to it. Let's just watch a quick replay of that. We can see here Jamieson um, snapping the ball. Look, he looks immediately at his, at his um, target receiver Clark, and Clark does get a hand on it, but just can't bring it in. I think that's Clark. It was oh, it may have been ninety one. Uh, Alexandre Capadonu. There's a lot of love for 79. Who is 79? And are you talking 79? Which team? Right, anyway. Jameson back under centre. Drops back quite far. And he's... Oh, he's under pressure. He swung around. He manages to stand his feet somehow and gains probably about a yard. But on the far side of the field, there is a flag. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happened here. But I don't know how he got out of that. Let's, let's, have a, let's watch a quick replay um, while, while we wait for the refs. Ah, sorry. I didn't do it quick enough. Let's get out of that replay and let's watch the refs.
Time to run the Komodo Dragon Hook. Loads of love for the Cuda. So it is a penalty on the Cuda this time. I didn't see what it was. I'm, I'm infraction in the neutral zone, okay. Uh, so the ball will be moved five yards. Number 32, was it? Oh, third and two, yeah, it's third and two. Okay, let me just zoom out. Let's get the, where the ball actually is, shall we? That would be handy. Chat's going crazy. I love it. Thank you very much, guys. Keeping me uh, entertained. Right, so Jameson here takes the ball. It looked like it was a designed run play, but under pressure, Jameson decided to keep hold of the ball and just get a couple of yards more. Uh, I don't think there were a couple of yards gained. I think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Um, but a safe play there. And that's, this is the, the first time, I mean, it's early in the game, but the, the, the Stags are going to punt. They're on their own 42-yard line. Um, and punting for the Stags is uh, 15, James Cunningham. And receiving for the Cuda, I think, is 41. Sorry, my... Uh, if that's 41, it's... Um, Matthias uh, Nadulaman, who's a London Warriors under-19 player. Flag straight away in the air. And uh, punted out of bounds. Let's see what this penalty is. And see where the ball ends up. So, yeah. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's a Stag's false start. Now, typically, those, th th those will draw whistles before the play even starts, but um, maybe it wasn't so obvious or the ref called it a bit late. I'll just keep flashing these uh, comments up. I won't necessarily read them all out because I'm obviously trying to... Uh, unfortunately, I'm doing everything today. Camera, comments, commentary... <laughs> Yeah, so it was a false start. They're going to move the ball up the starting position, probably start the 30-yard line. Um, yeah, I can hear that low-pitch buzzing noise, Sarah. Let me just try and adjust it away. Hopefully that's got rid of it. Let me know. Let me know if um, you can still hear it. Apologies about that. Anyway, ball is on the... It's on the 25 yard line. They only got five. Okay, I thought it was a 10, that one. Of course, it's a. Yeah, it's a five yard penny. Right, anyway, oh, uh, coup de offense are back on. Hudson's back in. Hands the ball off. That play again uh, works extremely well. So, number 32, the ball carrier for the Barracuda. Looks like we don't have any penalties, which is nice. Um, and Archie Calhane. I'm just going to call him Archie, I think, because I think I'm butchering his surname. But the, the fight night guy picks up another first down uh, for, uh, for, for the Cuda. <laughs> what a comment. Cuda having Ville tonight. Ball handed it, got, uh, off again to Archie. Um, Good for probably three yards. That'll bring up second down and six or seven. We'll see. Um, this comment from, from Ho Sam, talking about Ville, if I remember rightly, yeah, I am right. Uh, Ho Sam was the star running back for the Bristol uh, Barracuda, who, who had uh, sorry, 812 yards last year uh, and played as the number two running back for the Aztecs.
just for the confirmation of the the sound issue. It's my mixer. I need to get another one. Anyway, ball carried him. No one wants to tackle him. He's just sort of running around slowly, <laughs> but making yards. Uh, so number um, four, Hudson, uh, on, on a lovely carry there. And that brings up third and short. So uh, interesting to see here if they just go for like a, a, a nice pass to the flats or they give it back to Archie to get him rumbling up the field again. Um, but a really crucial play here. We, you know, we're midfield. Kuda need to get something going. Um, this is a good opportunity for them. Some sage advice here for uh, anyone experiencing sound issues. Hudson drops back. They do pass into the flats. He does have some space in front of him. What a tackle and what a massive hit. Let's replay that. So you can see here, ball here, passed down to number 80, uh, Sanchez. And I think, well, number 45 and number 10 from the... Uh, um, from the stags with the with the tackle but 45 got their first alex harris and number 10 malix mcgahey max sorry mcgahey um lovely hit and this is the end of quarter all right let's get sorry i'm just going to exit the replay neil saying the buzz is there but quieter okay i'll do my best to uh still adjusting stuff hopefully that's it gone or minimised. Hey coach. We're joined by Coach Rains of uh, Bournemouth Barracuda fame. So we move over, let me just do the uh, Q, change it over the court too. So it's still a tight game here. Um, I would say the Stags have had the rub of it. Uh, seen seen a more dominant team, but the Cuda have still persevered and, and you know, it, it's less than a score game, right? So uh, still definitely in it. And the Cuda now have got the ball in the Stags territory, just just inside the halfway line here. And it's it's a fourth and short. It's like fourth and two and they're going for it. So let's see what happens here. So Hudson in the back. Oh, and they jump. No, what happened there? I'm going to replay that. What was that? It looked like the... the Centre just like sat down. Right, let's see. Watch the centre there. Uh, <laughs> so, um, 53 um, was, uh, uh, had a, was offside and the centre sort of tried to, I suppose, draw it or make it more obvious and uh, make it look like he was, he was uh, forced into movement. So uh, the penalty should be on the Stags, but we'll see. Offside, yeah, they got it. So that's first down. So they marched the ball 10 yards, the Kudu, without doing anything in this quarter so far. Uh, I've got the ball on the Stags 37 yard line, 38 yard line. So QB Hudson back here, hands it off. I think it's going to be to the Ar Archie again. I can't quite get the number. Look at him, he's still on his feet. It's an absolute bruising runner. Um, and he gets definitely gets first down yardage. Uh, I think he may even have got into the, into the red zone there. Um, not bad for his first start. God, the comments. So, ball taken here by Archie again. I think he's got another first down. Looks like the ball might have been coughed up there. But offense staying on the field. There's a little bit of a complaint here to the ref by uh, number 68. First down. And goal, 
all's on the four yard line. <laughs> so they could have four attempts here to, to get the touchdown. Uh, so 68 is the right guard, uh, the guard that was complaining to the refs. Let's see what happens here. So ball handed off. And I think it's 98, maybe 99. Let me just check. Uh, Joshua Wolfrey and um, Edim Edit Edit. Uh, number 47, uh, both there on the tackle in the backfield. Fantastic play from them. So marches the ball back, second down from the six yard line. Let's see what Hudson can do. He's got three receivers, one coming in motion uh, behind him. Uh, he's going to wait for him to settle. So he's double twins with a single back here. And it looks like we may have a delay. Oh no. Let's just see what the uh, referee said. False start. So ball moving back five yards again. And that further five yards, the ball is now, it should be on, what, on the 12. And uh, three attempts here to, uh, to get some points on the board for the Cuda. Okay, so man in motion here and handed off to uh, Archie up the middle. He's, he's, he's a tough guy to bring down as, you know, on his own normally, let alone when he's, uh, when he's in a lot of traffic. So um, stays on his feet for as long as he can and then eventually brought down, bringing up third down by number 56. Was it 56 making the tackle there? So 56 for the... Um, for the Stags Seb Rice again so third down from third and goal from just inside the 10 yard line you call it nine and a half I think so man in motion Hudson drops back fires over the middle and he's bubbled and uh no one comes that. No one comes down with it. But uh, it, that was sort of anyone's ball there. And there's a timeout. So we, so we got a first timeout of the game called by the uh, Cuda. Just watch the referee. Uh, and it is fourth down. And it looks like they're going for the field goal as well. <laughs> so we could have a three-all game here. Um, Hudson, the, uh, the holder, he lovely. I, 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 if you watch any of our streams, you know I love fake punts uh, and, uh, and fake field goals. Um, I would love it if they did one of those, but I think, I think it's a bit too early for that in the season. So uh, let me just get the uprights in shot. So you guys can see it. There we go. So ball snapped down, up in the air. Looks good. Let's wait for the signal. Yep, all good from the referees. And we are tied in quarter two at three all in this game. I was expected to be flooded there with some more comments on the uh, on the stags. Sorry, the Cuda getting uh, getting on the board. Come on, let's show him some love. So I think let me just have a look. So I think this is 88. Uh, 
who's doing the kick. I think it's the guy that just scored the three points. Uh, yeah, Sam Graham. F used to be an O-liner and he's a kicker. He was the Cuda of the Year. He won a Cuda of the Year award uh, in 2022. Led the team in receiving yards last year with 230 on 14 receptions. Not bad. He's got a hell of a boot on him as well. Sarah Cunningham is supporting um, James Cunningham. I didn't put the, na uh, the names together. Okay, so Stag's offense back on the field. Jameson with the handoff. He had a lovely gap there, um, the running back, McGibbon. Um, I think it was the free safety came down quite nicely, took him out, but great, uh, great first down play, second and five. Jameson drops back, looks to his left. He's got a man, oh! In and out of the hands of Cunningham. Let's just uh, watch that again. Sorry, Sarah. But you can see here, Jameson drops back, Cunningham there, looking for the ball, thrown nicely, really nicely to him, in and out of his hands uh, as he approached the sideline. He did have space, I know he didn't quite show it on screen, but he was about two yards inside. Um, so he, he had time to, to stop. Uh, sorry, to, to bring the ball in. QB drops back, uses his legs, tucks the ball, outruns uh, the uh, would-be tackler and gets pushed out of bounds just past the 40-yard line uh, in the other end, of the, uh, other end of the pitch. So the Stags go into Cuda territory and, oh no, the ball, sorry, the ball spotted at the 42. Ah, 41 it spotted out, yeah. So a lovely little run there from Jameson. Gives his team a first down. Oh, he looks like he's caught up here, but he spins backwards and stays on his feet and gets about four yards. Let's watch that again. <laughs> so uh, we got it just before the... Um, for the snap here so you can see he takes the ball go takes a bit of a stutter step sorry i didn't get it on screen but he spins backwards comes across the field and is eventually brought down from behind so hell of a play there from uh, qb Jameson again drops back, fires it off. Not, not the best of passes. Um, actually threw it closer to two Cuda players, two defenders, rather than to his own receiver. I think it was 62, it was in and out of his hands. Uh, and that's Matt Grinham, uh, who's a rookie for, for the Cuda. He's got hands good enough to play on the Stags offense. Pretty good saying he's elusive in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen that spin. If, if only someone was filming it and had it on screen. <laughs> I'll stay a little bit wider now. So we'll uh, whistle here. Timeout called by the Stags. Gives everyone a little bit of time to breathe. But uh, what, a, what a series this has been for, for Jameson. Um, he wants to win this game. He wants points on the board. 
Uh, and that's a great idea going into half time. You know, if, uh, if the Stags score now and then half time's called, that means they get the ball opening of the second half uh, and gives them a better chance to create a, bit, uh, a lot more separation. Jack here cheering on the Stags. Guys, let us know where you're watching from. I always like to find out where people are watching from. Sometimes we get people abroad, which is always cool. Um, but just in general, we want to see, you know, who's the lazy ones that didn't want to come out here today. Last season, Bristol finished four and four before losing to the Bournemouth Bobcats in the first round of the playoffs. So, a little bit of trivia there for you. If you've got any more trivia about these teams, let me know. No joke trivia, please. Jameson there, uh, back, at, back under centre in the pistol, drops back, floats the ball up for number 17 to go up. Uh, I, I, we're at the mercy of the uh, of those poles again, but let's try and catch a replay on that. So you can see 17 here, James Newton going in motion. He's the target man. The ball is up. He jumps up to get it. I don't even know if he got his hands on it. It's hard to tell from that angle. Um, but uh, that brings up fourth down. And yeah, we've got Cunningham back to punt. And is that Hudson, number four, back to receive? I'll have a look in a second. So Cunningham just punts it out of bounds. It hits the post. <laughs> oh, sorry. It is a post, but uh, I meant the, uh, the floodlight. Our game against the... Yeah, I know. Sam Winters takes back everything positive, he said. Rory's calling uh, defensive uh, PI, pass interference on that on that previous play. <laughs> the fan I was watching from Baghdad, oh, thank you, mate. Really appreciate the effort. Okay, so we should have Hudson back on the field. It looks like that's him. I can't see the numbers. He pitches it left. Uh, and 47 and 99. So let me get that, 47. Uh, Edom and 99, uh, Wolfrey are both on that straight away. Uh, and I assume, without catching the number, but I'm assuming that was uh, 32, Archie, for the Cuda with the ball. They lose about two, three yards on that, so it's second down and about, t about th uh, 12. Ball is on the 30-yard line, uh, the Cuda's own 30-yard line. So Cunningham back here. No, not Cunningham. Hudson. He's under pressure immediately. And he is brought down this time. Fantastic, fantastic sack there uh, by that man. And I think this is the third or fourth time I've called his uh, name out today. Joshua Wolfrey, one of the captains. What, what a hell of a uh, captain's performance he's putting in. They lose 11 yards on that play. They were on the 30 and they're now on the 19. Neil's watching from Ireland. Watching from the fields. We, we, we often get people that watch in at the game. It's always nice. Anyway, third and uh, 70 or something. <laughs> no, it was about 25. Had to drop back here. Ball in the air. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, it's all right, that's down. Sorry, guys, my uh, my camera went off. 
my power went. And the, oh, there's a there's a muff punt, and the the number five manages to salvage it at about the one yard line. I'm sorry about that. I don't. My uh, my power bank seemed to have gone off. Sorry, is this all back on now for you guys? I can see people mentioning technical difficulties. It was, uh, it was my fault. Well, I don't know if it was my fault, my equipment's fault. It decided to just turn off the power. Luckily, the uh, stream's also got a battery backing it up, but the camera doesn't. Otherwise, it wouldn't have made a difference. I forgot my batteries today. Anyway, first and 10. The Stags take over. QB keeper, there is. It, so the, the um, number two for the uh, for the Stags, Jameson, does get in, but there is a flag, so it's most likely a hold. And uh, let's see. Stags, former head coach, watching from Wiltshire. Thank you. And uh, someone watching for Cardiff. So. Yeah, it looks like it was a hold. Um, ball will go back five yards and there'll be another first down. Uh, replay the first down. So first and seven, roughly. So Jameson calling a man in motion. No. What was that? That, that? that play did look like it was quite unorganised and players weren't sure what they were doing there. Um, Cunningham looked like he knew what he was doing. He was trying to sort of tell everyone what, what to do and where to be. But uh, they, they lose another um, five yards on this one. Sam Winters here talking about um, number 17, Joel Newton. Says he excels. Oh, hold on. I'll come back. Let's see what Cunningham's got. Takes the ball, keeps it, rolls around to his right. He manages to avoid a would be tackler. And his target man, I think that's Cunningham, uh, doesn't quite bring it in. So that brings up second down and goal from the. 14, 13 yards? 18, is it? Oh, yeah, of course, near the 20. Just going back to that former comment. Uh, excels at touchdowns with his incredible agility, sharp decision making, and unmatched skill. He's the best choice for scoring. A lot of love for Joel today in the, in the chat. It's funny. Has the picture come back? I assume it has. If someone could confirm, that would be lovely. So it looks like there's a yeah, there's a timeout called um, by the Stags. So that's their second of this first half. We've got to be getting close to uh, half time here. Uh, score, as you can see on the screen, three, three all. Uh, tight game, and uh, certainly the Cuda have started to you know come back into this a bit. But I'd say the Stags have still got the edge. Certainly, uh, you know, there are advantage at this point here with it being in, with them being in the red zone uh, and three attempts at scoring. Thanks for letting me know about the picture. Sorry, uh, it went off. It's just me. I'm a one-man band today. Usually, there's a couple of us. <laughs> but it's all good. I'll try and bring you some scores from around the league as well at half time. Uh, I did have some prior to the game, but um, I had a lot of other stats to talk you through, so I wanted to focus on this game rather than other games. Thank you, Sarah.
All right, let's see what Jameson's got up his sleeve here. He's got two receivers out to the, the left. 17 there in motion. Gives the ball to him. It's a, it's a, it's a reverse to number 26, I think. It is number 26 again, McGibbon. Uh, and he's, he's good for some yardage. It doesn't go it all the way, but he gets the ball to the 10-yard line and it brings up third and 10. This is right where the pole's in the way, isn't it? I can't even see the ball on the camera. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, we, yeah, we can. There's the centre. So Cunningham and, uh, and McKibben behind him. Cunningham rolls out to the right. Not Cunningham. I keep saying Cunningham. Jameson is who I meant to say. Uh, and it looks like it was McKibben. McKibben uh, scoring. So that's 9-3 pending this uh, extra point attempt. It looks like they're going for one with number two, Jameson holding, as you'd expect, and 99, Joshua Wolfrey uh, kicking. So two captains there. I'm not sure who the centre is, but let me just get the, uh, the uprights in shot. Sorry, the sun is glaring from this side here. It's very low. Was it good? It was good. And so that's... Uh, 10-3 as we get close to uh, to, to half time. I don't have any time checks. I don't know the exact you know how much time's left, but uh, just judging by uh, the gameplay and obviously the time elapsed, um, I'd say we're coming very close to the two-minute warning. Don't let anyone tell you that uh, Sam Williams, is it Sam Williams? Oh, sorry, Sam Witness doesn't love Joel Newton, all right? He's throwing up comments like no one else. What number is Lewis Palmer? What team does Lewis Palmer play for? Well. Joe McKibben, the GOAT. He's, been, he's had a hell of a game. Right, oh, let's get the kickoff. <laughs> So ball being kicked here by the Stags. And it looks like it's another one that's gone out of bounds. It has. So let's see what the decision is here. Where's Ollie? There he is. Legal procedure. As we know, What's the, what are we going to see? Ball is placed on the 35 as it was before, so it's not a re-kick. Lewis Palmer is, for the Barracuda, he's an offensive player, number 14. So he should be on the field now, or has the opportunity to be on the field now. <laughs> I don't know if he is. So Hudson back under centre. Ball pitched to his left. Runs into traffic. The ball... Did he give that to someone else? I don't think that ball started. Hold on, let's see. Can we? Get, have we got time for replay? Let's see. I oh, know it was. It was um, uh, number thirty-two, Archie, again, picking up huge yards. Oh, he's playing tight end. So he's number 14. I can't, I'm, I'm side onto him now, so I can't really see the number. Two minute warning. See, I was right. I know about this game. <laughs> Lovely shot of the gates there. All snapped, handed off, uh, and Actually, quite a nice tackle on the outside there by um, by number 45 for the Stags, Alex Harris, um, as he brings down 
uh, Archie, the um, Cuda running back. Archie's probably good for a couple of yards there, brings up second and about seven. Another timeout, this time Bristol. So Hudson uh, in an empty backfield. So likely to see a pass play here. Drops back, not too far. Fires out to the to the flat, and the attended receiver catches it. He's got a couple. He had a couple of blockers. I'm trying to get his number. It's this dude here. Number eighty. Sanchez, again, who played in Spain. Another timeout called. So some good clock management here. Not, uh, that was the last one. You see Oli pumping his arm in the air. That means that's the, the third and final timeout of this half for that team, in this instance being the Barracuda. Uh, so, yeah, it's good to see some clock management. We typically don't see it in Britball. <laughs> um, you see it all the time on telly, but, uh, you know, the, the, very rarely do you... Well, I don't say rarely. It's just not common to see such good time management in um, in British American football. So Hudson again in an empty backfield, uh, four receivers, potential receivers to his right, one to his left. He drops back, looks to his right, and it's really nicely defended actually. There was good pressure put on um, on the QB there. Let's just see a replay of that and see. I think it was a player pushed into him, his own offensive lineman. So you can see he drops back, takes a couple of steps. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was someone clean through that pushed him over, but he managed to get the ball away. And it was Seb Rice, that man. So Seb's having a banging game. I'm not going to get Seb Rice's autograph after this. He's someone you should be talking about in the chat. Right, so uh, it's fourth down. Ah, oh, odd, odd decision here. Um, they're going to punt it. So, back to punt is that guy. I don't know what his number is, but there he is. The ball's been, uh, the whistle's been blown. I don't know what it's for. Let's see. Maybe a delay a game or a legal substitution. I don't know, it looks like he's been waved off. No. Oh, my stuff's blowing everywhere. Okay, ball is snapped, sorry, and it's back. Punted, looks like it's going to the corner uh, to be punted out of bounds. They slid into the end zone, so that will be uh, first down from the 20-yard line. That was almost a perfect kick. Uh, they nearly pinned the Stags back on their own one-yard line. Uh, and th 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 they're asking the ref why, that, why it wasn't the case. Um, and the uh, ref's just explaining it to them. So Jameson and his men are back out. First and ten from the twenty-yard line. I mean, if they can get another score here and then get a score in the opening drive of the second half, I mean, that's the game's pretty much put to bed. It's not quite—I don't know—not quite iced off, but pretty good. Let's see what they do here. Ball, they drop back again. He rotates around to the right. Got pressure on him, and he is brought down, but he does gain positive yards. Not a, certainly not the, the the play that was designed, <laughs> um, but but positive yards for them. And uh, that man, uh, McKibben, is back on. I wouldn't be surprised if he's involved in this next play. Uh, 
Oh, someone's just uh, let us know. SGS 48 nil. Is that the full time score, Darren? So they were playing the Portsmouth Destroyers um, in Bristol. So, but thank you for the score update. Ball snapped. Handed off. Uh, and you'll never guess who. Oh, well, actually, it was Eastern this time, not McGibbon, isn't it? Yeah, Eastern. Um, really nice open. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, open hole for him to run into. And the ball, uh, the, the ball, he's tackled in the open field, meaning the clock is still running. So they had to then call a timeout to preserve some, preserve the uh, clock. Makes sense. That was their final timeout. You can see there. Again, referee um, Oli Maskell pumping his arm. That, that arm pump means all of your timeouts are gone, or this is the final timeout, more accurately. He certainly is, Freddy. Sir Bryce is awesome. All right, time back on. Uh, let's see what Jameson can do here. He's got the weapons, as we've seen. He pitches the ball out uh, to McGibbon. McGib sorry, McKibbin. Uh, that brings up fourth down and about two or three yards. Safe bet here is to punt it off, right? But it looks like... It looks like they're going for it. Ah, oh, half time. So, fantastic first half. 10-3 uh, to the Stags. Uh, we'll, we'll have a quick break now for 15, 20 minutes, uh, and then we'll be back. Um, yeah, thanks very much for tuning in so far. Go and get yourself something to eat, have a little stretch, have, hydrate yourself, and, uh, and we'll, we'll be back shortly for the second half.
Right, we're back. They did that really quickly, but there's a kickoff. <laughs> uh, and McGibbon, McKibbin, sorry, is back with the ball. Really good return there uh, to roughly the 35 yard line. Uh, as I said, Stag starting off this second half of the ball. And let me just fix the uh, scoreboard because it's not half time anymore. It's now quarter three. So the Stags open up, uh, take the opening possession, really good opportunity for them to capitalise here uh, and make it a two score game. And, you know, the reverse of that, really crucial defensive display required here, uh, defensive performance here to, to prevent any scoring and, and keep the Cuda in the game. So ball's handed off. QB uh, Jameson hands the ball off to number 24, Malcolm Easton. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Uh, and he's good for about a yard. Great job with the broadcast. Uh, also very relevant commentary. I try my best. <laughs> Thank you very much, David. So balls, balls on the deck and oh, huge yards of loss there for the, uh, for the Stags. Um, the Cuda putting in a defensive uh, performance that they that they need to here, really. So third and around 20 for the Stags. The ball on their 20, their own 24-yard line. So fix the camera there. Should we get some score predictions in? Has anyone got? Uh, let us know what you think the final score is going to be. We'll see if anyone can get it. Bang on. Right, whilst you think of that. Jameson back. And the, the Barracuda defence have probably had the best three back-to-back -back plays that I've seen <laughs> this game. And they just, just so happen to do it at the most crucial drive of the game for them. Uh, fantastic play from them. Number 41 for the Barracuda is now back to receive uh, on this punt return. And Cunningham here ready to punt for the, for the Stags. Punt is in the air, uh, into the middle of the field. 41, I'll get his name shortly, takes the ball and he's taken off. He's got a first block out of the way, gets into um, a little bit of traffic and is brought down, uh, but goes down with his momentum moving forward and picks up a couple of extra yards not a bad starting position here for the for the barracuda's offense in this opening drive for them in the third quarter ball is on the 38 yard line potentially 39 and i'm trying to find number 41's details there he is uh, matthias nudelman noodleman uh, defensive player of the year we already called that out uh, played mike linebacker and got a pick six versus southampton last year uh, let, and he, he's their leading tackler. So 42.5 tackles as a rookie last year. And he also didn't allow anyone to catch a ball on him. So uh, certainly uh, one of the players to watch for the Barracuda. Uh, end around here. Oh, sorry, I was getting ahead of it with the, with the footage. Uh, number, I think it's number 26. Yeah, number 26 for the Barracuda. Uh, takes the ball. It looks like it's first down yardage. It's Dom Bird. He's a rookie. Great, great play for a rookie there. Uh, and uh, yeah, we pick up a first down. They move deeper into the Stags territory. Ball is on the 34 yard line. So Hudson here back. Very high snap. Hands the ball off. Um, but fantastic uh, tackle there from number 64 from the Stags. Douglas Oaks, or Doug Oaks. Great play from him there. Uh, tackle for a loss, about two yards. So second down and 12 for the Cuda. The 
full snaps. Oh, stretched and caught. Would have used up some valuable time there, but he manages to get away. It looks like it's roughly first down yardage. There are two flags on the field here. Uh, so it looks like that one probably is going to be called back for holding. It may even be a legal lineman downfield. Where's the... There he is. He's looking for Ollie. Holding on the offence. He's saying the number, but I can't hear him. 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. So that's uh, second in about 22. And the ball is roughly back at mid um, at the halfway line. 90-yard field here, remember. So just shy of 45 yards out from the end zone. Uh, Hudson back to take the ball. That, that yeah. You could see there, the running back, he was just on his toes and trying to stay still. Let's just do a quick replay. Um, and uh, that's uh, Archie Cunningham. If you just, uh, sorry, Archie Calhane. If you see him on the right there, his heels come off. He's, he's trying to stay, but he has to put his hand out. Um, and that cost the team a further five yards. So they're now back in their own, they're now back in their own territory. Um, 54 yards of field in front, uh, sorry, 50 yards of field in front of them, and it's second and 27. Not great from the Barracuda, but can they get themselves out of trouble? Balls high in the air, yeah, picked off for a number, it looks like number 21, I'll get the number confirmation in a minute, but uh, great play here um, to, uh, to, to end that drive. With a lovely turnover, I think it's 21 of the Stags, and that's Captain Charlie Holdship. So the Stags now take over first and 10 at the halfway line, the halfway line so that's uh, 45 yards out. So Jameson back takes the ball. Ball goes to none other than number 17, um, Joel Newton, and that will uh, no doubt please everyone in the comments, in the chat. Doesn't get first down, but really good first down yardage. Um, uh, sorry, first play yardage. Brings up second and three. Ball is snapped. QB's rolling out to his right. And it looked like it was almost picked. Let's have a little replay there and just see exactly what happened at the end. So uh, you've got Jameson here taking the ball. It's quite a low snap. He, he doesn't like what he sees, takes a couple of steps, moves towards the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and the ball's in and out and in and out of the hands of a, of a defender there. So again, Jameson in the backfield uh, with McKibben. Ball in the air. And it was almost picked off. And I believe that was a court of the cornerback for the uh, for the Cuda number 12. Yeah, Frank Mayfield. This is his second year. Um, it's his first start for the for the Barracuda. So good, good job on him there. And a three and out for uh, for the Stags. They look to punt. Cunningham back to punt. Lofts the ball quite nicely, uh, and it goes ah, it goes out of bounds. Let's just see where the ref stops. Roughly around the 24-yard line. So could to take over from their own 24. First and ten.
So first down for the Kudu Hudson in at QB, hands the ball off, uh, and whoever he handed it off to got swallowed up immediately by it looked like the edge player for the uh, for the Stags. Five yard loss of um, yardage on that play. So second and fifteen. QB drops back, looks to his left, fire, uh, fires the ball in. Instead of receiver gets it, gets his ankles locked up and then gets drilled uh, by uh, number 56, Seb Rice, once again. Uh, he's a bit slow getting up. It, well, yeah, he's, he's gone. I'm just going to pan away. We don't like filming injured players. Um, so you can see players taking a knee here. That's a respect thing. Players on the sidelines, both sidelines doing the same. I'll just sort of show you guys that for those maybe that haven't seen it before. Uh, it's always a respect thing in, in American football to, uh, to to kneel for an injured player while they're being tended to. So, just while we've got this injury timeout. Just to recap, so we've had uh, no no scoring so far in the third quarter. Um, the Barracuda are on their second possession, um, and once we resume play, they'll be on third down and 15. Score 10-3 to the Stags. Uh, it's, a, it's still a tight game, um, a single score game, obviously, and. Um, I think I would say this this drive is unlikely to be a scoring drive for the Barracuda. Just given where they're starting off, they're in they're inside their own red zone. They've got to get from the 18-yard line to roughly the 35, um, just to get a first down on this. I, um, I yeah, I can't see them doing that. I can see them having to punt this one away uh, once once play resumes. Right, so players are now taking their helmets off, um, which is something they've been instructed to do by the referee. So given that, what we'll do is I'm going to turn the audio off and just have an injury um, uh, screen up so you guys, so it's just so that we don't have sort of just dead uh, commentary and me just talking nonsense for ages. Okay, so the player is now being helped off. That wasn't. A, that was a very short <laughs> injury break. I've just just don't want to catch him getting uh, ushered off there. But I'll go back to the where the ball is, and it's game on. So, just to repeat, so that it's, it's third down and fifteen. Uh, Barracuda on their own eighteen-yard line. QB Hudson, a oh, high snap and the ball's on the deck and they just have to dive on it and they give up even more yards on this drive. Every single play, uh, the, the, the um, Cuda have given up yardage and there's, there's immense pressure uh, from, the, from the Stags uh, front seven here. But you can see the punt team coming on for the Barracuda. It's fourth down and around so 22. Uh, they're just getting in pump formation now. Uh, that's the Barracuda. 
And we've got one returner and two up backs uh, in formation for the Stags, which is quite interesting. So they're obviously going for, they're looking for return yards here, um, as opposed to trying to block the punt. And the refs are coming in, something they don't like. It may even be end of quarter. Uh, so they, uh, they <laughs> the Barracuda marched back another five yards, so fourth and 27. And if you see their punter there, he's deep, oh, about halfway into the end zone. Oh, too high, and that's a safety, that's two points. Too high of a snap, ridiculous. Uh, and uh, that's two points on the board. I'll just wait for the referees to confirm it. They already signaled it. Anyway, that's two points definitely for the stag. So that's 12 to three. In the third quarter. So this will be, uh, the ball will be kicked off by the Barracuda to the stags from uh, the 20 yard line. But on this one, they've got the option of punting the ball. They can kick it out of hand if they want, but I don't think most people do kick it off of the tee, as you can see it's happening here. Balls bounced, collected. Reverse to number 17. He's still on his feet. He's definitely going to get run out of bounds, but um, nice little return there from Joel Newton. Gets the ball over the halfway line, so the uh, Stags are starting in a great field position here. First and 10, just inside the halfway line. Got some comments here. Stags are dominating them, no chances. A, a yikes from Freddy. Easy dub for the Stags from Joe. I don't, well, the game's not over. But it's, you know, nine points in it, but uh, yeah, it, it certainly looks like the Stags are going to stay on top in this one. Ball thrown out to the flats to number 81. The intended receiver catches the ball um, and a nice little run after the catch there. So. Um, I'm sorry, let me just get 81's name. That's uh, Tom Clark. No, it's not because it's 91. <laughs> uh, that's Alexandre Capodono. So, got oh, got first down yardage on that. Great stuff. So, Jameson takes off, tucks the ball under his left arm. Uh, takes quite a big hit there uh, and is brought down just at the line of scrimmage it seems let me just uh, let's do a quick replay on that one and just look at it here you can see him scrambling after the pressure from 90 um, he actually points out his would-be tackler or his eventual tackler um, but no one blocks him and he gets a straight run uh, and a nice little ding on the opposing quarterback oh does he does lose yard so second and 13. Jameson, back to his target man. At, um, I think that's Alexandre again. Yeah, it is. Not quite as many yards on that play as they did the uh, last time they tried it, but uh, still good. Third and six. Ball on, uh, ball, balls on the 30. Uh, and that's the Cuda's 30. So we've got a single back, in, sorry, let me show you, single back in the backfield for Jameson. He throws the ball to the flats. It's, hit, it's up in the air, bobbled, um, and, uh, and then eventually hits the ground. So incomplete, uh, target man Joel Newton not able to keep, keep hold of the ball. 
and that brings up fourth down. And are we, I heard punt, but is this a field goal? No, it's a punt, okay. So this is ideal territory for a, a coffin corner kick, so try and get the ball inside the 10 yard line, punting it out of bounds. He doesn't actually. The, no, the punt is straight out of the back of the field and give the ball to the other team at their 20 yard line. So gain about 15 yards on the, uh, on, uh, from the line of scrimmage there. So Hudson back here as QB for the, another high snap. Um, and it, it just ruins everything on the timing. So, you know, the QB's got to take the extra time to grab the ball and bring it down and, and make sure that the play can still go off. Uh, the running back, just move out of his way because he's still down. But the running back now has to, you know, he's got a stand in start. Um, and it, it just ruins the whole timing of the play. So uh, everyone taking an ink. Sorry, I thought, I was, I thought the play was off, off the screen. Um, Everyone taking a knee as the uh, injured player waits for treatment. So, player now being clapped off um, uh, as he's helped off the field. And that brings up second and nine. Yeah, there's a couple of um, there's been a few little errors from the from the Cuda centre, but you know, the first game of the season, that's yeah, that's drawn a flag, so that that this is a free play really for the offense. Great, oh, oh, listen, that's gonna that's gonna be a met yeah. Terrible. He's going to get an ejection for that. Yeah, the uh, uh, defensive player and targeting. Actually, quite an underreaction uh, from both sidelines there. I think they're, they're quite content with the refs taking. Apologies, the, the apparently my power bank turns itself off. We haven't missed anything, we're just waiting for the signal from the referee. The penalty's offset and second down. Oh, I thought that I thought there was gonna be an ejection from that, but uh, but not but not so. I don't I need to check why my uh, power bank keeps turning off because uh, it's not supposed to do that. Right, back to the action. And this is, so second down and nine. Penalties offset each other on the previous play. Hudson looking straight to, looking to his left, rolling to his left, shovel passing. It's number 21 who breaks two tackles, but the third man brings him down uh, really nicely there, number 23. So uh, 21 for the Cuda is Archie Simon. Uh, this is uh, his first, this is his rookie season, um, and it was 23, Jude Westcott. And 45, did you say? Oh, and 45, uh, Alex Harris making that tackle. So score still 12-3 in the third quarter. It looks like that's the third quarter ending. It certainly is, as the ball's held up. So we've got about a minute or so while, uh, while the refs change ends. And I update the uh, scoreboard to say quarter four. <laughs>
The Stags in the dominating position here, uh, they, they really have sort of had the edge all game. Um, Cuda have been, uh, have had some good play. They've had a couple of players go, go out. I don't know if those players have been reintroduced to the game yet. But um, it, this certainly looks like uh, the, the Stags will hold on for a win here in this fourth quarter. But hey, who knows? Anything can happen. Right, let's just uh, make sure I'm pointing at the right place. There we go. Rain is starting to come down fairly heavily. You can see uh, umbrellas coming out. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my God, there's proper showers. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fortunately undercover here. So unaffected, but here we go. So uh, the Cuda continue with the ball third and 14. Ball snapped. Hudson drops back. Ball over the middle. Just into traffic. No, no pass interference or anything there, but three men end up on the floor. And it is pissing it down. <laughs> I, I, I know it doesn't show it on, on the stream so much. Oh, there's, there's a puddle there that you can sort of see. It's hammering it down. Yeah, you can see it. Oh my God, yeah, you can see it. So that brings up fourth and 15. And obviously uh, the, the Barracuda are gonna punt. Hopefully this time the uh, the snap's good. Uh, it's a bit low. Oh, he, he bobbles it, but he gets it off. Probably not going to have the distance that he wanted. Ball is fumbled. It's going to be obviously soaking wet. Um, but uh, so uh, muffed catch there uh, from from the stags from McKibbin, but uh, jumps dives straight on it um, and saves any blushes. So. But great field position here, great starting field position for the, uh, for the Stags, just inside the Cudas for, um, halfway line, just inside their territory, should I say, uh, first and 10. There's someone enjoying the rain. Look at him, in his wellies, running through the puddles. Right, Jameson gets the ball. We can expect probably a lot of ground play here. Not, nice big hit there, but Cubic uh, still stays on his feet, keeps his momentum. I can't see there being many balls going through the air. Uh, that ball must be extremely slippery. And uh, the receivers have been pretty bad at getting, pulling the ball in so far this game anyway. So I think, yeah, in the Stags position, it makes sense to sort of just keep it on the ground. Waste, uh, not waste, but use up a lot of the clock and... Uh, avoid turnovers. <laughs> okay, so single back with uh, with Jameson in the backfield. Uh, they fake the end around QB keeper, and there was four Barracuda on on that stag. Oh, and he's he's slow getting up. I'm just gonna. No, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, but yeah, quite a loss of yards on that play. Who is there? I oh, know they're, they're spotting it just as a yard back. I thought there would be more than that. Maybe it was um, from, yeah, momentum, full momentum point of contact, which makes sense. There's the uh, silver blankets coming out on the sideline over there. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a little bit nippy. It's not that cold, but uh, it's, this rain's awful. Jameson drops back. I think, yeah, look, it, the balls are going to just go in and out of the hands. So. Uh, 17, that man again, Joel Newton, the intended receiver. Punt team comes out, Cunningham, there he is. That man, Cunningham, ready to uh, to punt the ball. Um, I think we're going to see some funny football here in, the, in, the, uh, in this last quarter. Uh, the wind's picking up, the ball's really slippery. This isn't, an e this isn't easy, this isn't an easy ball to, to snap or catch and then kick, but he does. Cunningham does it nicely. Ball bobbles out of bounds, not not very far forward. Um, so it shanks the kick. And the Barracuda take over, bang on the halfway line. So a, a, fairly, a fairly quick three and out for the, uh, for the Stags. So I'm 
just want to make sure there's no rain on the lens. And Paul's, Paul's handed off. And he's running down the sideline. And uh, good, good, good for first yards, uh, first down yardage there. Once again. Um, where is he for Archie? QB keeps again, oh, or keep, keeps on this time, runs around to the right, was first and ten. Just trying to get it up. Sorry, I'm just trying to put my uh, umbrella up. Is it broken? I'm trying to protect my equipment because it's getting wet. So ball snapped there by Hudson. Runs around to his left again. And take it down out of bounds. Sorry guys, I was just adjusting and moving my camera back. So ball thrown in, tender receiver drops it. Sorry guys, uh, there we go, right, should be back up in a second. Right, here we go, QB rolling around to the right, and it's another incomplete pass. Sorry about that, we had a bit of an issue with uh, opening an umbrella, which broke, and then trying to move the camera back. But we're all good now. Yeah, indeed, Russ, winter football, hate it. <laughs> We're a bit rusty as well with uh, having a couple of months off from the streaming. I was going to put the umbrella up earlier and I would have found out it was broken, but uh, I thought, now nah, it'd be all right. Can't stop um, thinking that the weather's going to stay the same for three hours. So turnover on downs. Stags take the ball uh, and again ground game looks like it will prevail here ball uh, handed off to McKibben again and almost gets first down yardage Joe saying he'd like to see a screenplay. I, I just think they should just keep it on the ground. Both teams. Uh, well, the rain's eased up. So, yeah, maybe you can start airing it out again. But it's it's still raining. The ball's still wet. So, first and ten here. Ball handed off. 
from Jameson to McKibben again. Uh, Jameson's going under centre now. It's a clever move, right? It's easier to uh, get the ball in the QB's hands. Lower chance of um, any sort of error. <laughs> Russ saying he knows how I love the rain. Oh, I hate the rain. Oh, we'll hand it off again. I think it is. No, it's not McKibben, it's now Eastern. Um, and just nice yardage, really good play. That's what you want. Third, uh, brings up third and three. No, third and four, sorry. Sorry about the movement of the camera. I've ruined everything. Now that I've uh, adjusted where the camera is, it's now panning over to the right without me touching it. Anyway, so QB under centre, hands it off again up the middle. Uh, and it looks like another Eastern run. Loss of, loss of yardage there, so it looks like the punt team's coming on for fourth down, fourth and five. Ball snap nicely to Cunningham. He gets the ball off nicely with this time. Ball does end up in the hands of the receiver. He dukes the first man. Met, let, let gets the second man to miss. Number 41 in now carrying the ball on the outside. Fourth, fourth missed tackle and eventually Cunningham, who made the punt, tackles the, uh, uh, the returner at the 25-yard line. So the, uh, the Cuda will take over on their own 25-yard line. <laughs> Zoom in on 17. <laughs> Where is he? He's off the field at the moment, isn't he? Because their defence. Oh, there he is. All right, anyway, back to the game. Oh, no, let's go back to 17. They're still in the huddle. We've got time. All right, here they go. First and 10 from the 25 yard line. Uh, still in the pistol. Hudson is. Uh, hands the ball off, up the middle, and just straight into traffic. Nice, easy, uh, nice, easy play for the defence to handle there. How oh, does my little mate just walk past me, the puddle kid? So that was good for a couple of yards. Brings up second and eight. So QB drops back, rolls really deep to his left, which is, I mean, really strange considering he's a right-handed player and um, loses, I think he loses yards on it. It looks like he lost, they're back to the original line of scrimmage and it's now third and 10. Oh no. Oh, he got back to, he did get to the line of scrimmage. So it's, it's, it's third and eight. So Hudson takes the ball, now he scrambles to his right, he tucks the ball straight away, so there's no intention of, uh, of passing that there, just that was, a, that was a designed student body play. Let's just uh, see if we can catch a replay on that. There you can see, snapped, he's got two lead blockers, another lineman comes out leading the, uh, the way. And instead of going, and this is, you often see this, especially with quarterbacks, but um, instead of looking for the shoulder blades, the back of the blockers, he overran, uh, his would-be blockers and ended up getting tackled by, or pushed out of bounds by a, um, an opponent player. Uh, Joe here saying that the game's 
gotten too predictable. Reckon it's going to be a stalemate. Yeah, I think that there's a lot. That's got a lot to do with the weather. Very high snap. Um, gives the, expect the coverage on this on this kick to be to be great, and it is. And they go. They're going to let it bounce all the way down to. It looks like it's inside, just outside the five. Uh, so fantastic kick and coverage there, uh, despite the high snap. Um, but that it, it did help because it gave the, the, the um, gunners more time to get downfield and prevent uh, any sort of play. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just had to check that the stream was working. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we that first down play for the Stags was good to get them out of uh, a little bit out of trouble. So it's now second and six. So they got four yards on that first play. Uh, again, uh, QB Jameson under under centre, playing it safe, calling a man in, and it's going to be a handoff. Oh, that lovely handoff counter, uh, but up the middle and. Uh, Players there appealing for uh, for a flag from the ref because of the uh, tackle round the neck, but um, ref seems happy with it. Let's just have another look at that. The, the end of the play, there you can see uh, number 24 um, Eastern handing off a, cu uh, a couple of players, and, and he does he does get brought down by his head, but uh, I suppose he's not too fast. He's picked up first down yardage, and his team are winning. So you can expect to see Easton and McGibbon a lot with the ball. Um, McGibbon being 26, Easton being 24. Uh, they're both on the field at the moment. Ball is handed off to Easton up the middle. Um, and he's, yeah, this is going to be their strap. They're just going to keep pounding the ball until the time runs out. We, we, should, we should be coming up to a two minute warning very soon. I was bang on it. That was the two minute warning. So, uh, what are we, second down and eight. Ball on the 20, 26, 27 yard line. The Stags. All handed off again. Number 24 again carrying uh, Malcolm Easton. Does a good job. It looks like we're getting timeouts called now. Let's have a look. Yeah, timeout being called by the um, by the Bristol <coughs> by the Bristol Barracuda. And again, I think this is this is a uh, management here, just trying to uh, give themselves the best chance of winning the most time on the field. Huddling for a little while here. I wonder if they're going to try some sort of uh, something a little bit different. Let's see. Yeah, so QB Jameson is, is, is in the pistol again. He's got two receivers to his to his left. Now three to his uh, to his right, and he takes the ball and runs with it. So a designed run play for him. Um, and I think he just about gets to the line of scrimmage. So punt team coming on for, for the uh, for the Stags.
so uh, Cunningham back to receive the punt. Again, let's watch this, uh, this crucial part of the game now where, it, where uh, the ball's so wet. The, uh, the long snap. Nice, perfect, straight into Cunningham's hands and he punts it right down the middle. And the ball, you can see here bobbling, doesn't go out of bounds, but it will be downed by the Stags uh, around the 32 yard line. So Kuda will take over on their own 32 yard line, first and 10. I think Hudson's back in, still in his QB. It looks like he is. Drops back, tucks the ball, runs, and is tackled by number 10 of the Stags. Uh, called his name already today, and that's Matt McGakey. And we've got the floodlights on. I don't know how long we've had them on. <laughs> Probably been on a while, but I just noticed. So second down and eight. QB looks immediately to his lovely stuff. QB looks immediately to his left to throw to the flat uh, and the DB comes running down um, to make the tackle. Number 10, Max uh, uh, McGeehy again. So that's a back-to-back -back plays for him. Making good hits. So that's the... Uh, the Barracuda taking their third and final timeout. Um, the game should end any any time soon. Probably, we've probably got about two or three more plays left in the game. And I'd, I'd expect any any attempt now, for any play now for the Barracuda to be a pass play, as it will stop the clock when it's it. I say when if it's incomplete. <laughs> So Hudson drops back, looks to his left, fires over the middle. And incomplete. And that brings up fourth down. Fourth and it looks like uh, around 12. There's still time in the game. And they are going to punt as in the Barracuda are going to punt. So they're punting from around their 20, I uh, know, just, just shy of the 30-yard line. Looks like the nose of the ball's on the 30. So it's the blue blue markings, they're really tough to see from, uh, from all the way over here. Oh, I'd be disappointed with that, because he, so that's a flag. I'd be disappointed with that, because it was a good little snap. It was, these snaps are quite lofty though. I think they're playing it very safe. Uh, it looks like an illegal substitution on the Barracuda, so the ball will be much back even further. It'll be only be a five yard one, but still. Uh, back, waiting to receive. We've got um, Joel, Mc, uh, Joel McKibben again. Will they kick it to him? Let's see. So nice snap, ball's off. McKibben, it's right, it's right in front of him. No, he's leaving it, he's leaving it. He's letting it roll back. Playing it very safe. Uh, I suppose if you think about it, he did, he did drop that previous one, uh, give the ball uh, and let them turn it over. So just playing it quite safe there, ensuring his team get the ball on their 10 yard line. So first and 10 from the 10 yard line for the, uh, for the Stags. Like I said, we can't have many plays left. Um, I don't know how many timeouts the Stags have got. May have one. They have two. Are they in Victory? They're not in Victory formation. Uh, QB is 
on the centre. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a victory formation. So they're just going to kneel out the game. I don't know how many times they would need to kneel. Oh no, ball's in the air, that's it. So, that brings the game to an end. Full-time score, the Southampton Stags 12 and the Bristol Barracuda 3. Uh, pretty good game, actually. I, I, I think it, uh, it was, it, energy levels seemed to drop towards the end. I can imagine getting absolutely soaked and having cold rain and wind um, uh, making your kit heavier and just making you generally miserable doesn't help for either team. But uh, yeah, you know, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for all the engagement. Um, I really appreciate that. That's sort of, I don't know, our unique selling point, if you like, is a, a, as, a, as an outlet. We just want everyone to sort of get involved and have a bit of a laugh, and but also at the same time, bring people into the sport and help those that, you know, might be watching that are friends, family, um, help them understand what's going on. So you can see here, both teams just lining up uh, for, to give the handshakes. Southampton go 1-0, uh, Bristol 0-1. These guys will meet each other, as I said again, uh, in two weeks' time on the 12th over in Bristol. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if they do repeat the last season. So last season, that when they, they played each other twice, uh, the home team won each side. So the Stags won one game and the Barracuda won another uh, or the other. So, um, yeah, it, um, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, uh, Joe's calling this a Stags masterclass uh, and he's excited. I don't know if anyone... Joe said he loved the stream. Thanks, thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Uh, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, we'll be back next week. I can't remember where we're going to be, uh, but we will be back next week. Uh, um, and we've got we've, we've got a few more games booked in. Essentially, we'll, we'll, we move to live stream a game each week, um, and hopefully, we'll be starting to do two games each Sunday uh, from maybe next week or the week after. So uh, yeah, try and bring you as much action as we can. Please like, share, comment, uh, follow us on the different mediums. Um, it's cliche, I know, to ask. Um, but we, we do this for free, we don't actually charge any tea and it's the engagement and the subscriptions um, that, that help us to get sponsorship. So as, as simple as it may seem to just like us on Facebook, ideally YouTube because that's why the, the uh, sponsors look for this, um, we'd really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, it, it, it will make a difference to us, we'll be able to bring you more games, bring you more camera angles, not just me doing everything, we'll have teams. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks very much guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch you next week. Thanks, um, have a lovely week.